the hour, the darkest place, Dante's inferno, the devil's maze, it's a good world. guys welcome back to another zpg video so in today's video we're going to be spraying the s2k brake calipers in a red color oh yeah guys so like i said before i'm going to be spraying my brake calipers in a red color so i'm actually going to be using the dupli color red brake caliper paint and i'm not actually going to be using primer and clear coat so hopefully it still turns out the same and yeah so what I'm actually going to be doing is just cleaning up the brakes, masking it off, and then hit it with the red color. So I'm going to be doing it in the, well, I'll say the simplest way or the easiest for my situation. So don't roast me down there. But yeah, I'm just going to be jacking up the car and masking the brake calipers. I'm not actually going to be taking them off as I don't really want to take off the brake calipers. And I don't mind if it's not like 100% perfect. So, so that's why I'm just going to mask around the brake calipers and then spray it on that way. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna jack up the car, take off the wheels, and then we can start the process. So, cleaning first, and then we can do the fun stuff, which is painting it. So guys, now that we have jacked up the car, we can now go on to cleaning the brake calipers. So I'm not too sure how to actually clean them. So what I'm actually going to be doing is probably just using some brake cleaner and then scrubbing it with some wire brush. And then probably before I actually paint it, I'll quickly hit it with some wax and grease remover and hopefully that will do. So yeah, let's get cleaning. So before I start this or attempting to clean it, I'm not too sure how the lighting is. So what I'm going to do is set up the softbox and hopefully that helps it. Because as you can see, it, it is bright, it is seeable, but I just want to see what the softbox can do. So yeah, let's set up the softbox. So I'll put one here. Now I don't know. And uh, damn, big difference, huh? No light with light. Damn! Mm. Alright guys, so now that we have cleaned the brakes, or as much as we can, we can now hit it with some wax and grease remover, just a quick little wipe just to get the excess dirt and whatever's left behind. So just a light little wipe and then we can start masking it. So guys, now that the calipers are all cleaned up, we can start masking the calipers so it's ready for paint. So before everyone roasts me, I know this is not the right way. The right way should be taking off the calipers and just spraying it off the car. But what's best for me right now is to actually just keep the calipers on the car and then put like a garbage bag or newspaper around the calipers and then spray it that way. I'm pretty sure that if I take out the brakes, I will need to bleed them, which you know, I can't be stuffed doing. But some people say that you can, I think, clamp the lines or some, clamp something and it should stop like air or liquid going in and then you don't have to bleed it. But like I said, you know, this is what's best for me, so I'm just going to be doing it that way. 
So I'm gonna try a trick. Uh, I watched this on Throttle and Dustin Williams. All they did was get a garbage bag, cut a slit and just pull it over the brake calipers and it looked very easy. So I'm gonna attempt that way. So I think the trick is to open the bag and then they said you want to cut along the side or the seams I think which will open it, what, to a square I guess? I'm pretty sure you do it for both sides too. So after you pull it up like a square, I think where the ends that are still connected or basically the bottom you cut like a little slit and then you just slide it over the calipers. So I'm gonna cut it this small for now, or a bit bigger. And then we can see how much more I need. Okay, so what you do now is you put your bag over it. And then with the slit you cut is where the brake calipers go. I think I kind of cut it too far that way. So yeah, I think I stuffed it up. So there it is guys, simple way of doing it if you want to keep your brake calipers on the car. Look at that. Damn. Also, uh, over here, the brake pads, you probably can cover it in tape if you want, but that's up to you. I'll probably try and tape it, and if I can't tape it, then oh, I don't mind, I'll just spray over it. Alright guys, so everything is now taped up, well in the most ghetto way, but hey, if it does the job, it does the job. So yeah, as you can tell, I just put some plastic bags, so even that one there. And these sides as well. So about after five coats, the brake calipers are finally done and they can finally take out the plastic papers that I masked the car with. So the brakes aren't fully done yet. So basically they dry to touch but not to drive on if that makes sense. So the can said about one hour for it to dry to touch and then three hours to be handled. So what I'm actually going to be doing now is just taking out the plastic bags, put the wheels back on and then tomorrow morning I'll come back here and I'll show you guys with the wheels on. So there it is guys, what do you guys think? Look at that, damn, shit, 100 times way better, eh? Look how it turned out, damn, 100 times way better. Here at the front, it's a bit bulkier, shit, very nice. So as you can see, I did miss a few spots such as around here, the inside or the edges, but currently really noticed that when the wheels are on anyways, so I don't really mind. My main focus was just to get like most of the flat pieces here colored and get most of the front here colored as that's where people will be seeing because the wheels will be like this. So boom guys, new day today. And before it rains even harder, I'll quickly show you guys the final result. So there it is guys. Don't know how well you guys can see it, but there it is. So yeah, I know the car and the wheels are dirty, but you know, it's been raining all week and it's meant to rain all day today. So no point washing it. 
But look at that. Damn. It looks brighter in person and more noticeable in person. But the front ones you can definitely tell as they are more chunky. So as you can see, it actually stands out. So I had two options, it was either blue or the red, but I went with red because I thought the blue might be too light as I didn't know how the blue would turn out and red you can never go wrong, so look at that. So I'll get up closer for you guys. Perfect, huh? Such a simple job, but it makes a big difference. Looking sick, huh? So he's from a side-on view. So yep guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm not too sure how well you guys could see it on camera as when I looked through the camera screen, it looked a bit dark and you couldn't really notice it. I just wanna say it's all done and I'm loving it. I'm probably gonna cop some hate for this, but I don't really care because I'm loving it and it's already 100 times way better. Also, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the new calipers and also what you think of this video. So I tried something new today if you haven't noticed, like in between like a lot of scenes, I cut into like short slow-mos. So I'm just testing those out so let me know below what you guys think so if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a fat like p-h-a-t and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so till next time laters